Before we start of course you know what's going on in Gaza. If you would like to contribute I'm going to leave the link in the description. Asalaamu As Alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Benjamin Netanyahu of Israel has declared that they are at war. Israel, well this is very strange because the Palestinians have been at war since day one mate, since you've taken their lands. But you haven't felt the pinch because the West has been supporting you financially, propaganda wisely. He cannot read! And even religiously as well. So I've been following the news today and people have called what's happened unprecedented. But before we jump into it we need to understand the context because you're not going to be receiving this in the news because the news is just going to focus primarily on Israeli deaths. So we as Muslims have been hearing this I think for the last couple of years. The Al-Aqsa Mosque constantly gets desecrated. The Muslim majority countries like Egypt, Bahrain, UAE, Morocco normalizing ties with Israel and a couple of days ago Benjamin Netanyahu at the UN conference mate was boasting that next in line would be Saudi. An historic peace between Israel and Saudi Arabia. Such a peace will go a long way to ending the Arab-Israeli conflict. It will encourage other Arab states to normalize their relations with Israel. Now look at what happens when we make peace between Saudi Arabia and Israel. The whole Middle East changes. And he held up his card and you look there's no space for Palestinians there. What a slap in the face for all of these leaders that have been supporting him. He just comes out and says you know what it's you and me always. Gaza has been under blockade. That's two million people they cannot leave. They have been imprisoned and what does the rest of the world do? Just watch and say you know what just just you know what I mean just leave it don't fight back because they're, they're really strong you see and if you fight back they're just gonna pummel you. So what happens is these guys they just live and let live but what happens is Israel slowly encroaches on Aqsa. You know about the third temple I'm sure you do mate. The settlers slowly start increasing increasing. They start doing these pogroms in the last 48 hours. There's been a lot going on frankly. So what happened? This is where the news will start from yeah. Thousands of rockets were fired from Gaza. The Palestinian fighters entered by land and by air and crossed into Israel. They took Israeli soldiers captive in a place called Sidrot. Fighting was taking place between the Palestinians and the Israelis and the Palestinians even took over the police station. By the time that I recorded this a hundred Israelis have been reported dead, 57 have been taken hostage. Now what does the UN General Assembly say? Yeah some people might be like are you on the side of Hamas? I'm on the side of the UN General Assembly Resolution 3743 in 1982 that permits Palestinian armed resistance. So this is something that's been agreed on the international stage mate. So naturally Israel has launched an offensive and Israel has killed 200 Palestinians. But lo and behold you're just going to hear and see the condemnations coming from the likes of Liz Truss, Jordan Peterson mate, the wolf in sheep's clothing, Boris Johnson, oh you're all these guys you can see them on screen saying yeah we stand with Israel mate. What's happening there is really bad. But what's been happening in Palestine for decades? No no it's both, both people mate. you can't blame one of them. When it's Israel on the offensive, it's both people mate, it's both people. But when the Palestinians fight back, whoa whoa whoa. In the same vein these very people will encourage the Ukrainians to fight back when it comes to the occupying force that is according to them Russia. But you notice 
100 Israelis have been killed, 200 Palestinians, but the United States of America, drum roll please, who are they gonna give their 8 billion dollars in aid to? Oh yes that's right, it's the Israelis, yes. But in 2022, just last year, 34, at least 34 Palestinian kids, yeah, conservative figures, were killed. So in other words, the US taxpayers money will be going to taking the lives of innocent kids. Even here, when Israel has bombarded Gaza again today, we saw that they had bombarded this building. You can see the Al Jazeera journalist as she's reporting it happens live mate. This building in a residential area which hosts journalists, lawyers and many innocent civilians nearby got pummeled mate. This is a Israeli woman with kids and you have Palestinians defending her. Defend this is war mate. They say all is fair in love and war yeah but here the Palestinians still sticking by their principles. So what do these guys do? They take offences by the Israel army and they portray it as oh look what the Palestinians are doing, look what Hamas is doing. Cheap guys, absolute cheap and they've been exposed yeah not once, not twice, many times. And just to reiterate those people that say that look the Palestinians shouldn't be fighting back because you know they're gonna be pummeled yeah Israel is a superpower and you know what it's just why 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 would why would you do it? Well that's a very good question. Why would a group of people who know they're gonna be pummeled, it just goes to show how desperate they are that they are resorting to such feats frankly. And for those people that are saying Israel controlling this and doing this and doing that, necessity is the mother of all invention. It's only when people are forced into a corner they can come up with really creative stuff frankly. So wallahu alam some people are saying maybe Russia's involved, maybe it would have been an issue for Iran if you know ties had been normalized with Saudi so they got involved as well. Whoever it is, whatever it is, the point rests that these are occupied people fighting against the occupier just like Ukraine is fighting against its perceived occupier as well. Are we aligning with certain groups and saying this group because anytime someone defends Palestine they automatically get labeled as Hamas fans and defenders and they've already labeled Hamas as terrorists so you are a terrorist sympathizer. If you say look what Israel is doing bad they've made Israel synonymous with Jew so you're an anti-Semite. What nonsense mate. This is not only controlling the people but you're now controlling the language as well. Absolutely appalling and we will defend our brothers and sisters and of course we're doing this via S2J news as well and if you are a writer, if you are somebody that can contribute your time as a volunteer to S2J News. We've been covering this today then I'm gonna put details in the description for you to apply. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.